Hey everybody, this is Anime Free Chaos, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. It has been way too long, guys, so I do apologize for the, uh, well, you know, very late, um, in between, uh, scheduling of these videos, so I do apologize for that. Um, I mean, again, it's nothing really much I can say, it's pretty much the repeat of last time. Just been too busy outside of YouTube lately that, uh, it's been hard for me to try to get these in a lot, uh, faster. Um... Mainly, like, I, I really want to put these up as much as possible, but with the stuff I'm doing outside, it's kind of a hassle. But, I mean, not this is not saying this is a hassle, I'm just saying stuff in the real world's getting in the way of what I want to do. But, you know, that's... It is what it is. That's life for you guys, unfortunately. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the game. So, now that we're finally back, thank God, <laughs> uh, we can finally proceed with what happened last time. So, actually... Uh, in terms of last time, I think nothing really much happened. Uh, we did what we originally planned, which was pretty much explore the campus of Trista. Um, let me see here, and under the epilogue here, uh, I need to go to the student council room, okay, and then, what else is here? Alright, red text, George is planning to tour engineering and factories all around the continent after graduating, while Angelica intends to travel it on her orbital bike. Uh, I should have known they have amazing things planned. I should go through the back door and see Valimar. So... Pretty much a lot of the NPCs in this game have a lot of... Well, they all have their own personal plans on what to do after they graduate, which is kind of cool. Um, what else is there? Let me see. It's actually under my notebook here. And under quest, it's under characters, maybe? So, like, supporters. Yeah, so, like, George right here. Uh, engineering tour, that's what we just read. Same thing for Angelica. Uh, who else is there? I just want to double check here. Whoops. Uh, classes. Let me see. So, like, pretty much everyone has their own goals now, so, um, let's see, Bridget, now Alan's girlfriend, neither has any romantic experience, but they're making most of their life together, okay, um, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I'm still missing a couple for people, but I think we're, we will be able to get most of them towards the end, I'm hoping, let me see, for Vivi, um, no, not that one, I was trying to remember. I know we did it last time. Like everyone has their own set of goals. All right, we'll just leave it at that. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to probably review it <laughs> for my own personal use. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and just get started because we have been way, way too far behind in trying to complete everything. If that makes any sense, I want to complete the game. <laughs> it's long. It's been way too long. So anyway, I uh, like. I think we talked to these two, right? Let me just double check. Uh, as soon as the graduation ceremony is over, I'll hit the road. I, I am curious as to how things will go back home with the situation being what it is, but, well, I think it's best that I focus on my journey and nothing else. I only get one shot at this, right? That's true. All right, that's it for her. And let me just double check with George. Might as well do a refresher talk. Uh, I plan on going to see Professor Schmidt before I head off. Seems busier than ever these days, though. Uh, which means he'll probably just tell me to get lost. But hey, at least I'll be able to say I tried. All right, anything else? Nope, that is it. Okay, guys, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and talk to Valimar here. All right, so this new building is called the Soldat Storage Building, because remember, when we talked to Makarov, he mentioned that uh, this was attached to the uh, engineering building. So let's go ahead and check it out. Make your way to the hangar? Yes. So also, as a heads up before I... Oh, let me just see if there's any dialogue first. All right, Night Soldat Storage Area. All right, we'll, we'll look at this uh, scene go through first before I say anything. Hey, Valmar, how are you holding up? Okay, you know what, since it's pause right here, I thought it was going to be a voice dialogue. But, um, just as a heads up, this might be another shorter session, unfortunately. I know we're coming back, but it might be just the two videos like like last time. Um, you know, that's, again, it's just because I'm limited on time for today. So, I'm just throwing it out there for you guys to know, just to be aware. Um, yeah, so that's all I pretty much wanted to say. Sorry about that. I actually should have just said that at the beginning of the video, but, uh, let's, anyway, let's just go move on. Uh, hey, Valmar, how are you holding up? All right, there he goes. Relatively comfortably. Ah. My ability to self-repair means that maintenance is not mandatory, but I expect it will increase my operating efficiency. Glad to hear it. This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so you can get in as much maintenance as you need. I'm going to need you a lot in the days ahead, Valmar. <laughs> no kidding. I will strive to meet your expectations. Huh. Are you hungry for, are you hungry, Valimar? It sounded like your stomach. Something wrong? Not as such. 
I thought I sensed something unusual, but it must have been my imagination. You really are getting to be scarily human these days, you know? <laughs> what was it you sensed, though? A person? I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation of the earth things below us. Oh, that's... comforting. <laughs> Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. Oh. Okay. Well, if you don't think it's anything worth worrying about, I'll try and put it out of my mind. If you sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me. Telepathically... Tele... Telepathically was the word, right? Indeed. I shall use it to inform you should I sense anything is amiss. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I wonder that if that would play a part in the next game. Interesting. Alright, anyway. Oh, okay, cool. We actually got control. We're actually inside the hangar. It's actually pretty cool. I just take a quick look around. Nothing much. Boxes, barrels, crates. Anything over here on the shelves? Nope. Okay. And my bad, guys. Uh, before we move on, let me just do a quick check on the other end of my uh, recording software. I just want to do a quick sound test. Okay. I think everything is in order. Sorry about that. Again, it's been a week. Give or take, since we last played, so I do gotta do these occasional checks. Normally I would do them, you know, before recording, but it seems like it's easier. That way you, can, you guys can also tell me if there's anything wrong on your end, too. But anyway, let's talk to Valmar one more time. Be at ease, Reen. I shall inform you of impending danger should anything be amiss. This is an ideal opportunity for you to rest and recover from your missions. Use it as you see fit. Time is a valuable thing which cannot be reversed. <laughs> For a second there, that was a Linkin Park uh, lyric. Almost. Almost. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thanks. I'll try and take it easy. You needn't thank me. I have personality now. <laughs> Which is great, by the way. We've come a long way since uh, Valmar talking like a, you know, stoic robot. Alright, uh, you have no missions to attend to for the time being. For now, you should focus on enjoying the time that you have. Yep, same thing. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna play Jubei in the new, <laughs> in the new Blaze Blue DLC. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I think we are done. We are done with the engineering building. It should have updated in our notebook here. Uh, let me see. Yep, my new building has been built behind the engineering building to house Valmar. I'm guessing this is going to be our home base of sorts for a while. Valmar says he sent something strange. If he has anything more to tell me, he'll let me know telepathically. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Seriously, guys, it's been—it's really great to come back into this game, no matter what. Especially after a long, after like a really rough week of work <laughs> in the real world, it's just so relaxing. Especially with this music, just listen. Ugh, it's such rela relaxing music. <laughs> just something to easily listen to in the background if you're like doing homework or something, or reading a book. All right, here we go. Student Union Building. This is probably the last area that we had to explore. <laughs> Or, oh, wait, oh, I mean, and the town. I almost forgot about the town here. All right, not yet. So we're still on the academy. But yeah, this, we explored pretty much everything else except this building in particular. So let's go ahead and talk to everyone. Uh, oh, everyone's over at the tables, too. Let's talk to them first. Here's uh, here's Elisa. Tomorrow's going to be Emily and Teresa's final day as members of the lacrosse club. Which means it's one of the last days we'll really get to spend with them. We better make the most of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, anything else? Uh, we don't have much time left to spend with Emily and Teresa. Which means we'll have to wring every last drop of fun out of it that we can. That's true. Make the most of your days with your friends, especially if they're going away for a long time. Alright, Ferris. I have been appointed the new captain of the Academy's Lacrosse Club. Oh, wow. <laughs> I swore on my name as a full round. I will do a stellar job in fulfilling the numerous duties that come with the title. Though, perhaps bringing my rivalry with Elisa to its conclusion by the end of the month will take precedent for now. Oh, look, and there you go. Notebook updated for her. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Moving on to the next issue. What should be done about inviting new members to the club next month? Okay. Wait, does that uh, bring anything new for Elisa? Nope. Okay. So, next is Emily. Oh, yeah. I'll be passing the second year training regiment down to you tomorrow. It's crazy hard, but you're ready for it, aren't you? Give me a hell yeah. H hell, of course. 
Wow. <laughs> Stone Cold reference there, and she couldn't even say it properly. All right, anything else for Emily? Ferris has been working real hard to take up the role of captain now that we're leaving. <laughs> we might have hit a rough patch or two along the way, but it's good to know I can graduate worry-free now. All right, anything else from Emily? Nope. Okay, and last but not least, Teresa. The Imperial Army will be establishing a major new air fleet soon, you know. Oh, really? So Emily and I are going to sign up. Oh, wow. Uh, you can imagine how well Father took the news, but he, we managed to talk him around the, to the idea. Hehe, <laughs> fam... Emily's already fired up at the thought of being an officer like Captain Claire one day. Oh, okay. She, all right, and notebook update. So I guess she took inspiration from Captain Claire. Uh, Emily and I are planning on joining the Imperial Army's new air fleet after graduation. It's a tad nerve-wracking to be sure, but I'll have Emily with me. I know everything's going to work out fine. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, like I said, everyone's getting new careers and stuff. So, f f uh, Ferris is going to be Captain for next year, and then these two are going to be joining the Imperial Army's air fleet. Wow. Alright, let's see. Random NPC. That hangar's in use already from what I hear. Not much, but it's a start. It'll probably be used way more in the future, though. We might even end up with sold-out related classes thanks to it. Kinda makes me feel like I'm graduating too soon. I can't say I don't know how you feel, but I think we should just believe in the first years now. They've grown a lot since their first day. They'll be fine. Hehe, <laughs> I suppose that's true. Okay, what else? Uh, it's been an eventful two years here, but a fun two years nonetheless. Look at me, getting all down like it's over. We still got time to enjoy yet. Okay. Uh, right, same thing. Moving over here to this guy. It's hard to believe tomorrow will be our final free day here at this academy. Maybe I should show my face in the salon at some point. Try not to end it with any regrets, okay? Okay, that's it. So, okay, so I am I know I'm super late into realizing this, considering we are at the end of the game, but I'm guessing you only spend, what, two years at Thor's Academy because these guys are second years? Or did I totally just miss something important in terms of school-related uh, ranking? You know, let's not work. Let's, let's just keep going. All right, Monk. The radio filled me in on everything you were up to over in Crossbell. To think, you used to need my help to get onto the radio. Nowadays, the radio follows you. That's very, very impressive. But I... Hmm. Just take care, okay? <laughs> okay. What else, Monk? Uh, Alright, fill me in over a cross spell. Do me a favor and look after yourself, will you? You promise. Okay. <laughs> Monk's like, I have completed... Oh, whoops. I have completed my job. <laughs> I don't need to watch over you, Reen, anymore. Alright, we'll talk to her in a second. Let's talk to the good old chef. Hello, Ramsey. It's hard to believe the second years only have a couple of weeks left here now. I still remember the day they enrolled here like it was yesterday. <laughs> I think I'll treat them to something nice tomorrow. Okay, what else? Oh, same thing. All right. And then we'll talk to her in the front. It feels rude talking to her from behind the counter. <laughs> All right, uh, Samantha. What's, what's with the sour face? Come along, eat up. What you need is to down a warm meal. There's nothing like a full stomach to bring a smile to your face. All right, anything else? Nope. All right, and then, of course, the shop. Yep, same thing. The green, the queen omelet and gorgeous salad. Oh, wait, no. These are new, I think, right? Heals 2,500. Cures seal mutant stat down. Heals 4,500 HP. Cures blind, blind poison and burn. No, never mind. I could swear. I thought they were new, but anyway. Um, let's see. Let's talk to James. Hey there, cr Sorry. Wrong guy, huh? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just so used to him coming here to mess around every day that I thought you were him. I still can't believe he's gone. Don't know if I'll ever be able to. Ugh. Thanks, James. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, anyway. Uh, still can't believe he's gone. Don't know if I'll ever be able to. Feels like he's just gonna wander back in here like nothing ever ha even happened. You know? Ugh. Well. That kind of ruined the mood. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's see. Shop. All right, obviously the, the weapons that we have not been able to upgrade anyone with, considering how pricey these are. And then the armor that a lot of people need as well. <laughs> Again, too expensive. Uh, anything else in here? Bow scopes. Oh, Imperial Chronicle 7. We did not have that yet. Uh, Governor General Alvarez's speech met with great applause. All right, we'll buy that. There we go. Just to add to the collection collection of books that we're never going to read. <laughs> Alright, um... I could exchange my... 
Oh, what's that? Lending library. You know what? I bet you that's the that's the trophy for uh, getting all books in the game. Just like in the first game. All right. Um, you know what? I think I'm, I will exchange my Sepith mask. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that amount of money, guys. You know what? We're going to do it. Here we go. Damn. And we are now rich again. <laughs> We've been waiting so long to exchange it. And now... Oh, my God. That's a lot of money. Hold on. Ones, tens, hundred thousand, ten, hundred thousand. All right. We're cool. Actually, cool. We can actually get a million if I wanted to. If I just sold all my um, extra Sepith right now, I could actually reach a million. No joke. Okay. Enough of that. So let's go ahead and move on. And also, I, you guys probably know that all right as a trick, but if you want to get that one million, uh, um, one million Mira trophy to unlock, you just pretty much sell, like, save your game, obviously, but that, but sell everything you own in your, in your inventory, and you'll easily get it. No joke. That's how I actually got it. <laughs> now that I think about, it, I probably already mentioned that um, during the fin during the Tessa Rosa finale. All right. Anyway, so let's see. All right, that's the uh, story event. So let's quickly go in here, in each room. Aha! Let's see, there's Celine. You feeling any better now? I mean, endless ocean of work aside. <laughs> Honestly, the work's not all that bad. It's kind of nice to get back to a mundane life after so long away. I think my time in Crosswell helped me realize what's important to me. Like spending time with everyone here. Yeah, if you say so. Just don't forget to rest up. Knowing you, you'll be busy again soon enough. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Uh, make sure to get some rest. Alright, same thing. Alright, and then Emma. Good old Emma. Sitting in the club room as the sun sets, reading and writing with Dorothy. I really love times like these. I hardly realized just how much until recently, truth be told. It's kind of sad to think that, come next month, this will all be a memory. Wow. Alright, what else? It's only now that I realize how much I've come to love the literature club. Hehe, <laughs> even though I spent most of my time evading Dorothy's attempts to turn me on to her favorite genre, I'll really miss it. Ah, uh, same here, Emma. Same here. There's nothing better than corrupting the youth with uh, a bunch of yaoi doujinjis across campus. Alright, Dorothy? I actually was a little lost about what to do once I graduate, but my heart's finally set on becoming a writer. That's why I've been submitting my work to every literacy magazine I can find. Literature is an important part of our culture, so I don't want a war to ever make us lose sight of that. Hee <laughs> hee, and if I can do that if I can do that through a profession I love, well, all the better. Alright, anything else? Uh, I've been submitting my work, okay, of different literacy magazines hoping to become a published author. Shockingly, none of them have been terribly keen on my work so far. Not that that worries me. You know what they say, the best cure for a downtrodden heart is beautiful romance between the purest of boys. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, I really hope she does not change. In the next game. I love her personality. <laughs> I mean, corruption of the youth, but same thing. Alright, let's see. This is the chess club. Let me see. Alright, Stefan and Machias. Uh, it's scary just how fast the time has gone. I'm sorry that I couldn't accept your request, though. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. By the sound of it, there will only be one chess club next year anyway, for both upper and lower class students to use. Live your life how you want to. I couldn't ask for anything else. Thank you. Okay. So from that dialogue, I'm guessing both the both yeah, excuse me. Both upper and lower class chess clubs are just gonna become one. Okay. Alright, anything else from Stefan? Uh, I can't believe Machias and I have known each other for an entire year now. Time really flies. All the late nights we spent together battling it out over a chessboard, just the thoughts making me all emotional. <laughs> oh come on, there's nothing to cry about. Alright, anything else from Stefan? Okay, and then what about Machias himself? Let me see. Uh, we're lucky to have been students here. Not only do we get great classmates, but we got great second years too. And yes, I'm including Crow. <laughs> okay, where'd that come from? Alright, moving on. Next is the fishing club. There he is. How's it going, Kenneth? Let's see. Oh yeah, my brother finally got back from Crossbell. Oh, <laughs> He just showed out of nowhere back home. It was a big deal, though, given how long he's been out of touch. I was out fishing and missed the whole thing. <laughs> Good job, uh, Kenneth. Good job. Uh, seems like there's been a change in the ecology of fishing spots all over Erebonia in the past few months. Which is a fancy way of saying my old fishing strategies don't work anymore, and I've got to think up new ones. At least that's fun to do. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Nope. Let's see. Exchange points. Anything new? Still here, still blue. 
Uh, there's Blind. I could still get Biako if I wanted to. Hmm. Probably the Steel Boot might be a better thing to buy later on, so... Maybe I'll try to get more fishing spots in at some point and then buy it before moving on. Because, you know, it's a good, it's a good accessory. Especially heart, Arts up plus 100. You can't go wrong with that. That and prevo uh, preventing poison, blind, and burn. All right. Moving on from uh, Kenneth here. Let me see. Got stuck in the door for some reason. Uh, let's see. Barrel's not in. Wait. This appears to be an unused room. Huh? This was the old cult research society's room. I can't see any sign of barrel either. Maybe the club's been closed? Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Anything else, though? All right. Um, moving on, then. Photography club. All right. Uh, Fidelio. Rex and I sent in some of our war photos to the Imperial Chronicle, and they really love them. We even received special recognition during the last Fulitzer prize ceremony. Ah, I get it. Pulitzer. Pulitzer. Uh, that in turn led a man named Norton to offer me a job at the Chronicle, which I graciously accepted. Okay. I plan to use that position to spread the truth to as many people as possible. Alright, and notebook updated. There you go. So, Fidelio is going to have a career as a photographer. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Rex and I received special recognition during the last Fulitzer Prize ceremony for the photos we sent in. Uh, the Chronicle even extended, me a, uh, extended a job offer, uh, so that's where I'll be after I graduate. Rex, on the other hand, still hasn't expanded his photographic interests beyond girls. Uh, why did I leave the future of the club in his hands? <laughs> okay, so Rex is going to take over as the president, I guess. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's all the rooms, I think. Yeah, so let's go ahead and move on with the story event. Toa handing over all of her work to the rest of the student council should be ending today. So I'm guessing she's still here. Alright, let's go ahead and knock. There's definitely someone in there, but there's no response. Oh, I know. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Oh. <sighs> yep, I knew it. <laughs> No wonder she fell asleep. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. <laughs> oh, right. I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. Hmm. Angie. George. Crow. Ah. Uh. room. Very observant. <laughs> they must have fallen asleep. <laughs> Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. No, c clearly we weren't. I, uh, uh, I did try to look as little as possible. <laughs> okay. Well, if you say so. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. Uh. Come with me. Um. Oh. 
Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, what's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all, and I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now. But... That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. Okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so... so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you. But I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt too. So, don't get so worked up about it. Okay? Ugh, that was sad. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. <laughs> well, I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep, yep. My days of being president are almost done. Oh. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. You're going to on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, engineering, medicine. After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say no. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. Though, after all you did with commanding the Courageous, it's no wonder you're so in demand. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. Which is good. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little over dramatic there, though. Not at all. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? We're, <clears throat> we're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I completely forgotten, too. I just came to ask if there's anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. But... You've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all the, of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day as Class 7 if weren't any different. Well... If you say so... Okay! I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering. Of course. Okay, so I'm guessing that's it for Toa.
Oh, okay. We're leaving campus. Rain! Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to run into you. <laughs> yeah, crazy coincidence, huh? Are you heading back to the dorm dormitory, too? That was the idea. Why do we all head back together, then? Okay, cool, cool. It's nice seeing it's nice seeing the flowers as they start to bloom. Yeah, I know you said earlier they'd be in full bloom in a week, but I'm thinking it'll be closer to the end of the month, personally. Just in time for the welcoming ceremony. The new students will be able to begin their academic lives here surrounded by Lino flowers, just as we did. How wonderful. You've all known each other since your first day here, right? That's right. Nobody else started partway through the year like you did. But back then, I never could have imagined we'd get along this well. We got off kind of a rocky start. You're telling me. Especially Machius and Eusis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For what it's worth, I... I do regret the way I behaved back then. It's not exactly something I'm terribly proud of. Oh, think nothing of it. Immaturity makes fools of even the best of us at times. Thanks, I... Hold on! What's with that expression? You weren't exactly standing on the moral high ground either. I wouldn't have had as much of a reason to behave the way I did if you hadn't kept looking down your nose at me. Did you not hear me say, the best of us? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hell on all of us at the time, but it's all just a fond memory now. I suppose the same could be said about you or and Breen's little incident at the start of the year, couldn't it? Just had to bring that up, didn't you? I should have seen this coming. <laughs> uh, good times. Ooh, little incidents are my favorite. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well. D don't you dare! She's the last person who needs to know! <laughs> Our first day f really was full of surprises. Yeah, I couldn't imagine too many teachers welcome their students by dropping them through a hole in the floor. Oh, yeah, and, you know, Fee's using the grappling hook, and she's like, Fee, no cheating. <laughs> All right. Even without having to fight a gargoyle on the way out, that's a pretty memorable start to a school year. The, that gargoyle proved to be quite the opponent, too. Rawr. <laughs> I'll say. And when we finally manage to pull together and defeat it, she just casually drops in like nothing happened. It's like she was lying in wait the whole time, watching and waiting for her chance to strike. That's exactly what she was doing. Still, as exhausting and unusual as it was, that was how our class began. I'm pretty sure it's burned into all of our memories at this point. How could it not be? I have no doubts about that. Even so, I'm sure it's one of the memories that I'll cherish decades into the future. Ah, now you got me all jealous. Now it's my turn to do something crazy and make some super memorable memories too. Don't. You. Dare. I dread to imagine what she's thinking when she says something crazy. I don't know, use Lammy to make a pitfall or something? <laughs> Crash through the kitchen window? On a hopefully unrelated note, what are we going to do for dinner tonight? Hmm, I don't even plan on getting something over at Kirsch's, but if anyone has any better ideas... I think it may be a good idea to make something for ourselves. If we divide up the work between us, I'm sure our meal will have quite a bit of variety too. That does sound nice. My cooking skills were in danger of getting rusty too. 
No objections here. Well, unless anyone has what they need already, I think it's time to split up. We probably got a lot to buy, so... That won't be necessary. Aha! Sharon to the rescue, yes. Huh? Sharon? What reason could you possibly have for being here? <laughs> There's many reasons. The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Oh, good. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Woo! We saved our Mira. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. We will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. Oh, really? He, okay, he returned. Okay. He and the chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Oh, there's Sarah. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love the way she said that. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines if you'd like a snack to accompany your beer. Would you like them alongside your dinner? Uh, damn it. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this, you know, considering her affiliation. I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. That's a super maid for you. Okay, cool. I like how Sarah's like, ah, oh, she's here to ruin my drinking time, but she brought snacks, so I can't complain. Damn you, Sharon. <laughs> okay, so now we're back at the dorm. So how's this going to play out? All right. Uh, I think I might have eaten too much. It's been so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at all. Well, that's all my work done for the day. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. Alright, you can explore Class 7's dorms on the night before each free day. Be aware, however, that the story will progress should you return to Reen's room. Aha! Okay, so it's like one of those things from the first game. You know, just going around everyone's room to talk to, and then, uh, yeah. All right, character notebook updated, and you know what? Now is a good time to split the part. I was not expecting this segment to go on for that long. I was trying to go under 30, but we are actually hitting the 40-minute mark. But it's fine. Like I said, we haven't been playing for a while, so let's go. Let's see. Uh, which one do I save over? How many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, do I go for 25? I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, we're, we're on 21 now, but I think I think by the end of this game, assuming if it takes up to 25 save files, who knows? 
Uh, I really gotta find a time to back these up too before anything else happens. But anyway, uh, give me one second here, guys, and then we will be right back. 